Hello everyone and welcome to Green Side Up. Yes, I'm in the greenhouse at home again, so that can only mean pretty much only one thing really, which is I'm sowing seeds. And you'd be dead right, I am about to sow some seeds. But first, I just want to show you what's on the bench over there. So I've got a few plants that can go down to the polytunnel tomorrow. In this corner, we've got sweet peas, and these are me bigger pot trials with multiple peas in just seeing if they make better plants. They will eventually come back up home and be planted in the garden. But uh, for now, they can go down to the uh, allotment, down to the polytunnel. And when we get four sets of leaves on these, we'll nip the tops out to allow them to bush out. Got broad beans coming through there and there. Uh, they can be planted out in a couple of weeks, hopefully. We've got a cold spell coming, I won't put them out in that. In these two trays, I've got some Ishikura onions, the bunching onions. They're my normal onions over there, and cauliflowers here, some nice early ones. And all those can go down to the allotment tomorrow and clear some more space. Anyway, on with the seed sowing. So I've got some peppers to sow, a sweet and a, and a chilli pepper, and... The first one is California Wonder. And now I, I've got some pepper seeds somewhere in the house. I've got loads of them. I've got some more of these California Wonders. And I've got these two different types of Italian heirlooms, the long sort of pointy peppers. Can I find them? Can I eck? So I've had to buy some more. I've had these delivered now. And it's why they are for me a bit late. Normally I kind of sow them really towards the end of January but not to worry we've got them now and I'm just gonna this is sieve compost I'm putting them in as usual sieved because it gets all around the seed properly soaks the seed in water moisture to loosen the seed coat and get them going I find it just works better for me I know others profess to not sieve in but you know that's their choice but I always want to do it. And I'm sowing quite a lot because I want to do a few trials this year on peppers. I want to find, ideally, the best environment for them to grow in. I have a good idea. I just want to refine things for future years and find the best growing method. So I'm going to be playing around with peppers this year just to see what works for me best. Hopefully move things forward a little bit. So there's a lot of seeds going in these two trays and I'll try and grow as many of these as I possibly can. Uh, I would say there's probably 50 or 60 seeds sown in there. Now this other one is an interesting one and it's been sent to me by Audrey from Real Food Comes Dirty. It's very kind of you, Audrey. I do appreciate it. Now, it's a chilli pepper, and I'm not a big lover of the heat that comes with some foods. Never have been. But I do appreciate that there is a fruity flavour with them, and I tasted that last year on a very mild chilli. And this is another one that is very mild. It's a Cuban seasoning pepper called Arroz, Arroz Compolo. And I believe that name is actually a chicken and rice dish as well in Cuba. But it's much more, you could see, it's pretty similar to a habanero pepper in its looks. And it looks like a hot one. But allegedly, if you take the seeds out of the pepper before you eat or cook with it, it has virtually no heat at all, but all the flavour. So, again... As I'm playing with peppers this year, I'm sowing quite a lot of them because I want to play around with this and then play around with the peppers in how I store them, how they're utilised for the future. For example, I could pick a bunch of these chilli peppers and just chop them up as they are to have a heated pepper, uh, dried chilli flakes type thing and then a seasoning pepper, as is the intention with these. So we'll see how we uh, get on with those. 
and they're from Baker Creek Seeds, obviously from from America. Um, yeah, so really interested in trying that because I do desperately want to have not necessarily the spice, not necessarily the heat, but the flavour that you get from the chilies, uh, and then I can work my way up through them. That's really what I'm aiming for. So yeah, lots of sweet peppers and the chilli peppers. So Green Tide Up is dedicated to helping gardeners of all ages, experience and ability. And if you subscribe to the channel by hitting the button just underneath this video, then you won't miss any of my future content or any of the updates, and any of the updates about these plants as they're doing through the season. And don't forget, once you are subscribed, it's completely free of charge. Now, along with the uh, chilli seeds, the arroz con polo that um, Audrey sent me from Real Food Comes Dirty, and I'll put a link to her channel underneath in the description. She sent me some tomato seeds, so I'm starting to get a final list together of what I'll be sowing next month, and I thought I'd just quickly go through them with you. I'll be growing this one again, the... Um, I forgot the name. <laughs> the black strawberry, and that's from Baker Creek. That was a lovely tomato last year, really quite like that one. Um, these last two, now I ordered one of these last year uh, from Baker Creek and the order didn't turn up. I wanted to grow this so badly last year and it's a huge, huge, huge um, orangey sort of tomato called um, Orange Accordion. <laughs> That's a surprise. Um, but unfortunately the order didn't come through. And I thought, I wonder if there's something funny going on with the postal systems between the US and uh, and here. So I didn't order these, which were from another company in America called Wild Boar Farms. And this was one I had, uh, I really wanted to grow last year. It's called Atomic Fusion. I believe it's part of the same family as the uh, Brad's Atomic Grape. I also grew that last year. But I say I really wanted to grow this Atomic Fusion. So those three are part of the lineup for this year. The Black Strawberry, the Orange Accordion and the uh, Atomic Fusion. Now I've got another one with another weird name. Um, a couple of years ago a lady left our allotment and she gave me all her old seeds because she wasn't carrying on at home. And... You do what you do when you give them, you just throw them in a corner or in the bottom of your seed box. And there was one seed in there, it's a Japanese black trifelli. Now, Jesse mentioned it on the Pottymouth Garden Club about how absolutely gorgeous tasting this one was. And straight away we were all looking at it and I thought, I've got some seeds, well I found them. So I'm going to add the black trifelli to those three to give me four and I'm going to grow two more quite undecided but by next month i'll have a final lineup of the six i just thought i'd show you that because they came with that pepper seed today and uh anyway there we go that's it for this one look after yourselves everyone please stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon Toronto. <laughs>